What a mess out there. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. We've been getting word of flooding just about everywhere in the area today. Our crews are out canvassing the state looking for damage. Our team coverage begins with News 8's Crystal Haynes, who is on the scene in Seymour. When Mother Nature isn't happy, nobody's happy, especially folks here on the Oxford Seymour line. They are praying that the water doesn't rise any higher. Just and ask AJ he, Monaco. He just, I can actually just watch the water just come up. He just renovated his summer home on the Seymour Oxford line, but it looks like the vacation's over before it even began. I've seen the water start rising higher, higher, higher. I tried to hide my docks. Next thing I turn around, the water just keeps up so fast, came out of nowhere. Next thing you know, I got three feet of water, three, three feet of water, and I had no time to do anything but lock up the house, jump in the truck, back up, and just watch the water just accumulate higher and higher. i never seen it so bad. I went to go open the door, it all came flooding in. Sharon White's basement apartment under AJ's other house next door is half under the Housatonic. I couldn't even come out my door. I had to climb through my living room window to get out. So I packed up my, some of my stuff, my computer, and my work clothes because I can't miss work. I think Sharon's boss would understand. The National Weather Service doesn't issue flood warnings for nothing. Check out the scene a ways up the road in Oxford. The Housatonic is rushing through this home and this one and this one. Now that the sun has come out, folks here are just hoping that the waters can recede enough so they can get back into their homes and see what the damage is. And that's when the real work begins. We're on the scene on the Seymour-Oxford line. I'm Crystal Haynes, News 8.